Hi everybody, it's Goliope and Goody Parade and we are here with the three new Frightfully Tall Ghouls, Draculaura, Frankie Stein, and Claudine. Oh my gosh! Goliope is so excited to finally have a doll her own size to play with and to share clothes with, of course. Oh my gosh! Okay, if you guys don't know about these giant dolls yet, I am going to show you. Here we have Freak to Chic Honey Swamp who is a normal typical average size Monster High doll and she is standing right here next to this giant 17 inch tall Frankie Stein. And if you haven't met Goliope, she was the first 17 inch doll in the Monster High uh, collection and she is part of the Freak to Chic um, collection and here she is with Honey Swamp and again she is so excited to have some ghouls to play with and share some clothes with. So I'm going to put Honey Swamp out of the way so she doesn't get trampled with these giant girls around. So here is Draculaura and again just so you guys get an idea of the box size that's a regular size doll and that's the box. So here we have Draculaura. There's a beautiful picture of her on the side and it says Draculaura and it has the Monster High logo. And then it has a beautiful picture of her on the back. It says that she's monstru monstrously poseable. Actually, what else does it say on the front? I guess we should just see. It says extra tall doll. Draculaura, daughter of Dracula, frightfully tall ghouls. And on the top, it does say, includes doll stand, and you can kind of see inside where that doll stand is. I think that's pretty cool that the 17-inch dolls come with a doll stand. This side, you can see her inside, and oh my gosh, those boots. I just can't wait to see the giant doll boots, and I can't wait to try them on all each other, because... Goliope needs some clothes. So here it tells uh, her killer style is she loves to splash. I love to splash my black outfits with some cheery pink and I even carry a frilly umbrella so I can take an occasional walk in the sun. Her freaky flaw is since I can't see my reflection in the mirror, I have to leave the house not knowing if my clothes and makeup are just right. Of course, after 1600 years of practice, I've gotten pretty good at it. Her pet, of course, is Count Fabulous. Count Fabulous is my BFF, bat friend forever. He's a very proud and proper bat, bat, but I just can't help dressing him in the cutest little outfits. And her favorite activity, I love smiling, laughing, and encouraging my friends. Well, those are really good things to do. And of course, Monster High's saying that I really love and adore is be yourself, be unique, be a monster. So that is Miss Draculaura. Let's put her there. And let's get a look at Miss Claw Dean Wolf in giant extra tall doll size. Looking gorgeous, looking fabulous, daughter of the werewolf. And here we get a little side peek of her in there. And again, the giant doll boots. How insane. Just can't wait for that. And there's some gorgeous Claudine artwork on the back. And what does it say about her? I'm a fierce fashionista with a confident, no-nonsense attitude. I'm also gorgeous, intimidating, and absolutely loyal to my friends. Ooh, and modest, too. Her freaky flaw, my hair is worthy of a shampoo commercial, and that's just what grows on my legs. <laughs> Plucking and shaving is definitely a full-time job, but that's a small price to pay for being scarily fabulous. Her pet is Crescent, a scary cute little kitten as fuzzy as I am. And her favorite activity, shopping and designing fashions. One day I hope to create and be in charge of my very own fashion empire. All right, if you saw Scaris, you know about that. And here we have Frankie. Oh my gosh, she's so fabulous. Look at those giant shoes. I cannot wait to see them. Super cute. There's her little art on the side. Oh, I didn't show Claudine's. I will in a minute. And there you can kind of see her. And there's her gorgeous artwork on the back. 
and it says her killer style my best friends say I have the perfect figure for fashion I'm not really sure what that means yet but they've taken me shopping for some scary cute clothes that are absolutely to die for freaky floss sometimes my stitches stitches come loose at the worst possible moments yes it's still happening and her pet is what's it I'm not sure all of the things he's made from but his pet license is 10 pages long <laughs> favorite activity anything that I get to do with my friends well I love that because friends are what make the world worth living okay so let's look at all the girl doll the boxes together that beautiful box art so gorgeous gorge 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 and then which direction is it this direction we turn and they have the side box look at that look at that that is so cute. Okay, gosh, I don't know. I don't know which one to open first. Oh, gosh, I don't know. Okay, all right, I'm going for Claudine Wolf. Okie doke. I'm going to do some surgery on this box, I think. And hopefully I'll be able to protect the artwork. Okay, looking gorge already, just without the plastic as usual. All right, I'm just gonna kind of get a little look at how the box works really quick, wondering yes, if it unfolds carefully, because of course I would love to save this beautiful artwork if possible. It looks like it's unfolding and they're revealed big doll stand and that pops out of there All right. All right look at that beautiful gorgeous okay she is. All right, I did a really good job of saving the artwork. That looks amazing. Oh my gosh, Miss Claudine, welcome. <laughs> welcome to Bigville. Wow. I mean, I wish I had my uh, original Claudine, my, you know, original size one available, but I have her packed away since I can't store them all out at one time. I don't have enough room. Okay, her hair's caught in her earring a little bit, but I'm not going to totally obsessed on that because then I would just spend the whole time doing that wouldn't I okay <gasps> she's got gorgeous hair and a lot of it being a big doll and if you can see my hand her face fits kind of like right in it she is a big girl okay oh it looks like her hair catches real easy in there I guess just like her other doll she has her same outfit that her signature first doll has and same jewelry. Really cute. Uh, I guess she doesn't have her little stocking things on. She is jointed at the legs and she has knees. So she bends on both sides of that knee, which is pretty cool. And those shoes. <laughs> I mean, how many people have a 17 inch doll that has shoes that cool? that can come off and intermix with others. I mean, look at this girl. She is insane. <laughs> what an awesome concept. I'm wondering, are they gonna continue doing the big girls and um, eventually do a lot of them, like Laguna and Venus and operetta maybe oh my gosh oh my gosh the thought I just too too exciting all right well let's go ahead and put Miss Goliope next to her really quick here and I think Goliope's shoes are a little bit taller so she looks to be a little bit taller but they are very similar here you can 
lean them here till I get the doll stand together. Oh my gosh, are they gonna be so happy to share clothes? I know the answer, and the answer is yes. All right, well, let's get these other two girls out already. All right, Miss Frankie has arrived. Ta-da! Look at her. Oh, and she has her classic hairdo with her hair pulled out back in the back and in a ponytail in the back. She has long, straight hair, and her eyes are two different colors, of course. Oh, I just love the big head. Look how it just fits in my hands. I love it. And she's got her earrings on and little notches on her neck. And she is wearing her signature outfit with her tie and her belt. She also has a little bracelet here. And she has all the little notches, little stitches, so uh, you know, painted all over her since she's stitched together. And let's see, welcome to Biggsville. Hello, there's your girlfriends. <laughs> I love them. Okay, so look at her. Her outfit is all uh, one piece. The shirt and skirt are all one piece. And then she's got this amazing belt and tie. And I love the little uh, sleeves here, the little net sleeves. Let's see, is this on the right way? I want the lightning bolt on the front. And then the shoes. The giant shoes. Who doesn't love giant, fabulous doll shoes? Amazing. She is so amazing. Look at that. There she is with her girlfriends. Look at that. <laughs> or excuse me, her ghoul friends. So again, one more time. Here is Miss Honey Swamp, normal size doll. And there she is with the big girls. How cool is that? That's pretty cool, right? Okay, we've got Dracolora left to uh, free, and then uh, we can play a little bit with these girls, huh? Okay, Lady Draculaura has joined the club and all three girls are out. That's weird, she has this one long strand of hair. I'm going to give her an instant haircut. Instant haircut. Boop. Sometimes dolls need a little evening out, a little sprucing up. Okay, Miss Draculaura, while her bangs are like plastered to her forehead really really plastered I don't know if you can see that like super sprayed I'm almost scared to touch it <laughs> and then she's got her ponytails gorgeous and she has her classic outfit on and necklace and her safety pin earrings, of course, the heart on her cheek and her fangs, and the netting arms and the white skirt. She does have her little tights on, unlike Claudine. Um, she does. Super cute, it's so hard to get them all in the frame at one time. And look at those boots. Those boots are awesome. Look, here's my hand and here's her boot. 
It's as big as my entire hand. And again, I hate to use you so much, honey, hun, but just to get an idea. <laughs> Let's see if she can stand up here. Here's Dracolora's boot compared to Honey Swamp's body. <laughs> That's pretty darn big. Pretty darn big. <laughs> All right. So let me see if I can uh, back up here a little tiny bit. Get my ghouls in the shot. Okay. So I did, I have a doll stand here. It looks just like the regular Monster High classic black ones with the little hook in it. And uh, I am going to go ahead and put clip Dracolora in here just so I have a place to put her while I'm messing with these dolls a little bit. Oh my gosh, these are so insane. I am so excited. I have no idea where I'm going to put them because they're ginormous, but they are amazing. Oh my gosh, her boots. I just love them. Oh my. Woo! Okay, the stand keeps unsnapping here, just so you know what my woo was about there. There's a mama. Okay. 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 You're coming together, girl. You're looking fabulous and highly articulated like just like the how they have knees they also have elbows so you can do some really cute stuff with them okay I'm gonna back her up so we can whoa okay that's stand maybe I just don't have it clipped together all the way does it really click in place it really needs to since they're so big really needs to be stable but I'll just be extra careful moving her back I hope okay yeah that thing keeps popping out I'm gonna try and be careful on it okay and I'll go ahead and put another stand together so you can see what the ginormo stands look like look see the clip fits in my whole hand so there's a little a little bit different design the way it goes together like that and then same story where you're just supposed to snap it in place. Mm, that one feels a little more secure. Okay, I'm going to put Miss Frankie in here. Oh my gosh, are these insane? These are insane. My brain is just going crazy with excitement thinking what this could mean. I mean, what if they do like giant doll fashion packs? Think about the cool giant clothes they could have. All right. <laughs> they are so cool and again you know what let's bring Rochelle in this time and that is a normal sized Rochelle doll with all her ghoul friends look at that okay so I'm kind of in interested in um the shoes <laughs> anyone else is interested in the shoes as I let's see how easy or hard it is to get off Frankie's Look at those. Are those insane? Those are insane. Oh, look, she's doing like a little karate kick. I think I'll keep her in that pose just because I can. There she goes. She's like, where's my shoes? Okay, and did everybody see um, the Goliope video and see Goliope's amazing shoes? Let's make sure we take off the... So her shoe can come off. What if she put on Frankie's shoe? I bet the contrast of the black and white on the pink skin is going to be gorgeous. Gorgeous. And sure enough, fits perfect on Miss Goliope. And it does look really cute with the pink. Oh, I'm so excited that they get to switch outfits and clothes and boots. Okay, whose boot do we want to see the most? I think I'm most intrigued by Miss Claudine's buckle boots because I've always thought they were gorgeous anyway. Look at that. The size of my whole hand. All right, let's take it off. Look at that. Look at that. That is so cute. These shoes are insane. So now I have a giant doll shoe collection if you count all four 17 inch dolls I have. Loving it. All right, guys, I don't know what else to say. They're giant, they're gorgeous, they're super fun to play with. You can pose them in all kinds of poses uh, since they are uh, articulated all over the place. I wonder, yep, their waists turn. So you can do some of that. 
and that's it fun 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 I just want to go play already don't you okay guys so Goliope finally has some ghoul friends all right everybody let me know which one's your favorite I think mine is uh, Claudine okay bye for now don't forget to subscribe